Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Oshinoko, you guys. Last time was so good. I asked them to do one thing and that's not to bring me to tears. And I just, I don't know what I was, I don't know what I was thinking. Like this is Oshinoko. Like I was a mess from day one. Like I don't know what I was thinking, but it was really, really good. And we, I think learned even more about Kana and got into her, um, a background and kind of like how she's been functioning, um, like even more than we had in the past. Um, of course, we left off with some pretty crazy stuff as well, and I will briefly get into that. Um, but before I do, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much, and as always, I am sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, Still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I really hope you'll hit like and also subscribe for me. It helps me and my channel a whole lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, I have no idea if the fan is like being annoying right now. I feel like it's humming a little bit more loudly than usual. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Like, I know you can always hear it a tiny little bit, but, like, I also need it because I'm dying in here because it's an attic and I'm warm. Um, anyway, to the episode last time, uh, yeah, so we got to know even more about Kana. You know, I had really, I think even after all we knew about her, I think I still had the wrong idea about her because I kind of had this impression that, um, at some point it all kind of went to her head. And I think it's less that it went to her head and more just that, like, she was dealing with the pressure of, you know, having to stay relevant and everything. And, I, like, maybe in a way it did go to her head, but, like, I don't think I realized that, like, that whole um, way of coping that she developed, um, which was to just try and make everyone else happy... That was there before, like, her star started to, to fall or whatever. Like, before she, you know, stopped being popular and everything like that. Instinct to just kind of do whatever made everyone else around her happy was there very early on. It was her reason for getting into acting. Um, it was just really sad to me to see, like, all the stuff with the mom and everything. It's just, it's such a... It's, it's, I was kind of, I always had a little bit of a problem with the mom because when they showed what they had shown us of Kana's background, her mom like kind of took off on her basically when she got to a point where she wasn't that popular anymore. And they, they didn't come out and say her mom was sort of a stage mom, but like it's implied that like, okay, once you're kind of not that big anymore, I kind of didn't have a use for you. And we know the mom's life fell apart as well with the dad cheating and leaving her. The whole thing is just like a really sad situation. And, you know, I'm not trying to just like place all the blame here because I know, you know, like she's a human being as well. And, had her own problems and everything, I'm sure, but, like, that's a child, you know what I mean? Like, that's a child. Like, yes, we're all human beings, and we have our problems, and you're not perfect just because you push out a baby, but that's a child! <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I was, like, very heavily triggered by that, and, um, yeah, uh, it just made me feel even more for Kana and just want something so different for her. Like, on the one hand, it's cool to be a team player and all, but, like, you, there is a certain aspect of, like, I think about it with wrestling, too. Like, I know I compare a lot of this to wrestling, because I don't know very much about acting, but I really love wrestling, and I know, like, in wrestling, it's kind of like, yeah, like, you do have to be able to work well with others and everything. Obviously, you're working with others all the time, but there's, like, an aspect of it that, like, if you're not in it for a little bit of a competitive edge, like, don't, don't bother, you know what I mean? Like, at the, at the end of the day, everyone sort of wants to be at the top at one time or another, and that's what Akane was trying to bring out of her. And that's what Aqua did bring out of her. And I was really, really happy. He literally shined a light on her. <laughs> Shine? Shown? Shine? Shown? Shown? It doesn't sound right. I don't know. He put a light on her, we'll just say. Um, 
so yeah, that was so nice and so like satisfying to see after all this time spent with her. Um, the stuff with Aqua, I mean, he found a way around it, you guys. He found a way to bring out his emotions without having to um, indulge any of his happy feelings. And that was to literally do the opposite and indulge all of the pain and rage. And I just, in a way, it's like it's good to get that out. But at the same time, like, you know, I, f I feel like the comments were mixed. It's like, well, maybe it was good to get it out. It probably won't be something he's dealing with. Like, it probably won't be you know, something that he's feeding a lot in daily life, like probably, but we don't really know. I mean, I don't really know because I, I think most of us are not manga readers or anything. So like, yeah, really no clue on that. Um, but I hope this is, I hope this would be at least the beginning of a healing process and not the beginning of like a hurting process where like, okay, he couldn't push it all down and eventually something had to come out and it was just sort of like this unbridled, like not dealt with, not handled kind of pain and rage and everything. That being said, that is the first time we've really seen him get a little bit more competitive with the acting. Up to this point, he's been like, I don't really care about acting. It's so like in a way it did make him care a little bit more about the acting. Just, I like I said, I don't know if this is going to be positive or not. So, um... All right, guys, I'm so ready to see where we are headed with this. I got to imagine we're wrapping up the play pretty soon. We've gone through a lot of the major players. I think the only one we haven't really done a lot with would be some of, like, the characters we haven't checked in with a lot this season, like the the main actor guy who we know is, like, really good and he's been working with Kana, and there's a few other people who I think we had, like, seen before and everything, and uh, we haven't really been doing much with them. So... All right, you guys, without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into the next episode of... Oshinoko. Let's do this. Oh my god, I can't believe we're seeing I right now. What is happening? <laughs> Rupees asleep. Oh, We didn't get to see a whole lot of her like feedback with him. Oh, So it's interesting to see a flash. I think that's like maybe one of the first times we've done like a flashback to I, you know, that wasn't like her dying. Oh, he's just, look at what happened to the star. It's just gone like, yeah, it's like feral. Yeah, I think he can relate. He is, he's really, really good. Because he is. Dang it, I'm not, I'm not going to make it through this episode, you guys. I'm not going to make it. It's too sad. Oh, oh my god, he's there. <sighs> oh. oh, that's, oh, that's horrific. He's just so sad on revenge. Yeah, he uh, he recognizes these are his inner thoughts. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, at least he's aware, though. Like, at least he has awareness that that's not right. That he shouldn't maybe be denying himself those things. Oh, my God. Oh. Very ironic to have him, like, dying on stage. Oh, you know what? This is too much. Don't they bring her back, though? I thought they said they brought her back. Is it now? Oh. Can we transfer it back? Who are we going to transfer it to, though? Oh. They're, they're by, they're by. Oh, they're by. So how will this work? It'll take all her injuries, but where do they go? Or are we not that worried about it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really invested in the story now, you guys. Oh, 
what you mean? Oh. oh, like what if he had been able to help her? Oh, <laughs> maybe this will be cathartic for him. Or maybe it'll make it worse, I honestly don't know. <laughs> time I know what she would say to him I know she wouldn't want him I know she wouldn't want him to be in so much pain <laughs> respect for you so I would say yes oh I got more cry guys I can't say I will drown in my own tears <laughs> oh well oh my god we're getting real talk for a second we're getting real talk wow I can't believe how vulnerable she's being right now. It's like she had a breakthrough. <sighs> really? She, they're both very skilled. It's just different, you know? Like, you know what? I will get there. It's amazing though to think that like Akana got into this because of Kana. I mean Melt, Kana, Aqua, Akane? I think a lot of things have given her perspective. I think it's, yeah, it's not just their looks, it's their charm. <laughs> it's their personality. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's, it's that, it's that something. Mm. And she is. <laughs> so I'm... For real. By what? I think it'll be interesting to see where everyone goes. Oh, he wants to kind of soak it in. It's the getting to see everyone come out, seeing their faces. It's the best part. What? 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 Huh? Wait, what? Oh no, did that say, they didn't say Goa, did it? <laughs> they like to party, okay. She's just always on top of it, our girl. Oh, he's like, you go be kids. <laughs> a little bit better. And I don't think any of them can drink yet, can they? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. It's a dwind okay. Not even drinking it as ginger ale. We've just embraced the ambiance. Are we, is he under suspicion? Yeah, we know that she had a history with this theater. Is he gonna, is this where he got all the DNA samples? Oh! They kind of want to branch off and like, yeah, do their own thing. Hmm. <laughs> it sounds like it's been a lot of work. Explain! W wait, what? What it would it happen to be like a story about getting someone pregnant or something? Possibly? Oh, okay. I'll well, leave it to you, friend. Let's get some more alcohol in you and go somewhere where you'll be more talkative. <laughs> Can do! I'll go ahead and get him drunk. I see. Is it effective? Oh, so this is where people work while they're... Okay. Got it. Got it. Got to do something pay the bills, I guess, while you're trying to get out there. So they're not supposed to be, like, doing other jobs, but... <laughs> okay, so he's just 20. I see. Okay. Casual fun. Okay. <sighs> Why don't you go have a few more? Start start talking. Oh wow. That's kind of similar to I, isn't it? Yeah, for real. It was, yeah, sure, it was all you, yep. <laughs> oh, now you got him too drunk, now he's sleepy. Now we will not know, okay. Okay. Oh, what do we want to chat about? Wait, what? Huh? Oh! Huh? What? You're kidding! What? Okay. All right. Wow. Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good, you guys. Um, first off, what nerve I like this episode maybe has the most nerve of any episode this season because what nerve they have to come in, have me bawling in like the first five minutes. Unbelievable. Showing like I s I've said that. Back when Kana was trying to, like, give him pointers on, like, imagine if, like, your parents died, but then you were able to bring them back or something. And that's just what he did. He fed into the pain and the rage and everything, but then he allowed himself just for a moment to think, like, what, what would it be like if she had lived? And I think that works on so many levels because, one... I don't want to go as far as to say that's him maybe allowing himself to forgive himself just a tiny bit for like two seconds. 
like what if you had saved her and what she would say to you and like maybe it's allowing himself to have a little bit of happiness thinking of like what if she was alive again maybe maybe that's a little too bit of a, a stretch um but the other thing is, like, uh, there is this kind of very persistent idea throughout this whole series that someone like I, someone with, with that star power that she had, um, there's a part of that that can just never die. Like, her memory is so haunting to her kids. Her stage presence, like, everything, everything about, like, that star quality that she had is going to live on. Um, there is a, like a beautiful and haunting quality to the kind of, um, to what she left behind, I think, when she died. And so, when she was like, something like that's not going to hurt me. I don't know. It kind of, to me, and again, this might be reaching, it kind of spoke to like how, that part of her will go on forever. Like the part of her that just like entertained and like ironically kind of showed and gave so much love, even though we know love was something she had a really hard time feeling and wasn't sure about feeling right up until the end. Um, the other thing is it's like a little part of her will never die because she lives on in her kids and because she lives on in their memories and because, um, she's always with them in a way, which is even something that they do in, in the opening theme. They have her like watching them, um, in the audience. And I don't know, I, part of me wants to maybe think that like, that is a comfort. Like that is something that that's a good thing. That's like something that he's allowing himself to have finally, like some semblance of peace about it. But I don't know if I want to go that far as to say that. Cause I, there's definitely like his trauma is like not over by a long shot yet. I do also really love that he was able to acknowledge like everything that he was feeling, everything that was going on there was like, um, that was him. That was his voice. That was not all entirely true. That was something he was, he's, he's experiencing within himself, but is not necessarily accurate, you know, like that those intrusive thoughts are just that, you know, like it kind of felt to me like he could, he could acknowledge that on some level, which I think is really, really positive because instead of just overtaking him, he was able to confront it a little bit. I don't know. Again, I might just be going off in a totally wrong direction, but let me know what you think. Um, as for the DNA stuff, I never saw, I thought maybe he had found the dad. And I'm like, I think it might be way too early for him to find the dad. But um, the fact that he found out him and the main guy are siblings, half siblings. Um, the odds, I would, I would say the theater then is probably, I don't know. I mean, they said he had other stuff he was doing, too, like other projects. So the fact they're all at the theater could just be a coincidence. But like, the fact that I was at that theater, and now him, and they were both, and they were both in show. That's just, that's really, really interesting. You know, that they had such similar backgrounds. I don't know. And they're half-siblings. And they have the same dad. I feel like it throws a lot of suspicion on the guy who we just saw, especially since he has like, but I also feel like that's too easy. I feel like that's good. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. And I got to believe that like, they're not going to wrap the story up here. Like, I don't think this is the last season. I don't think this is the end of the story. So like, I don't know. Help me out here. Like, <laughs> am I, am I on the, am I, I mean, obviously, like, if you're a manga reader, don't tell me anything, but like, how are we feeling about this? Like, um, are we, what are we all thinking? Are we all thinking the same thing? Or do you, are you guys out there like, oh my God, no, you're completely off. Like, it's clearly, it's this. Um, in terms of theory, obviously don't tell me any spoilers or anything, but um, dang it, guys. The plot thickens. So we wrap up the drama of the theater. 
And we now go into the drama of life once again. I got so into that a stage play arc that I started to forget that like we're actually we're we're here to try and solve Eye's murder. Like <laughs> just like it was so good though, man. Oh, all right, you guys. That was so good. So emotional. Definitely picking up with the mystery plot again. Um, lot going on here, and I'm sure like. I'm sure if I, like, when I go back and edit and everything, I'm sure there's going to be, like, little hints and clues and stuff that, like, I didn't even pick up the first time. So definitely clue me in if there's anything like that. But, um, all right, you guys, that was fantastic. I truly enjoyed it. I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us for the rest of the season because I don't think we have that much left. Um, I want to say it's, like, maybe 12, 13 episodes, and this was episode nine? Nine? Was it? I think it was episode nine. So, Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please, for the love of God, be sure to join me next time because we are getting real, like, down the rabbit hole now. So please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.